Now, footy heads, when we talk heritage and we talk the MCG, nothing speaks more volumes than the cauldron from the 1956 Melbourne Olympic Games. Lit by Ron Clark, this cauldron stands testament to the amazing history of this amazing stadium. Great goal, mate. Great goal. How'd that feel, Dave? Oh, I felt fantastic here. We're in the AFL part of the museum and we're going to go and see all the AFL history. Well, footy heads, we all know that there is no bigger individual award in Australian football than the Brownlow Medal. And when they say, who's going to be taking home Charlie tonight? They're referring to the great Charlie J. Greaves of the Geelong Football Club. We're in the Hall of Fame section of the museum here. Daniel, look at all these past champions. Dave, it's amazing. They've got you know, Peter Dacos, Lee Matthews, John Sammy Newman. Just They're to all... name a few. Let's see what else we can find out about these champions. The Australian Football Hall of Fame was established by the AFL in 1996 to recognise those who have made a significant contribution to the game since its inception. The Legends of the Game exhibition recognises the legend status of past VFL AFL champions, featuring names such as Alex Jezelinko, Ron Barassi, Kevin Bartlett, Lee Matthews and Ted Whitten. Now guys, we're here in the interactive section of the museum. Now Dan's going to handball and see if he can get the most amount of shots. We're going to go head to head. Let's see how he goes. We're here inside the, uh, well, it's a sports room and it's uh, the home of the World Cup football for all of you budding soccer fans out here. Might be worth coming down to the MCC Museum to check out uh, the sporting action. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in the MCC part of the museum. At least 2,415 of the club's 8,300 members served during the Second World War. It took a heavy toll on the membership, with more than 140 losing their lives. G'day guys, behind me as you can see some of the massive concerts that the MCG has hosted. Madonna, the Rolling Stones, and the biggest of them all wasn't even a concert. It was the Billy Graham Crusade, which had in excess of 130,000 people in attendance. That wraps up another edition of Behind the Play. Until next week, I'm Dave Zafina. I'm Corey Wassell. I'm Daniel Malia. And I'm James Boyd. And you've been watching Behind the Play, exclusively to footyheads.com.au. See you next week. Hi, I'm John Dobson here. If you like Behind the Play, you'll love the Celts. Watch us on Monday, fortnightly, exclusively on footyheads.com.au. I'm John Dobson, signing off.